Welcome to the Double Strike Recap. Today I'm going to show you a 2017 Korean action thriller film, The Merciless. Spoilers ahead. Relax, and enjoy the video. The scene begins in Busan, South Korea, the local police hold a limited meeting to discuss plans to arrest a gangster boss named Ko, where a policeman named Chun conveys his plan, he intends to place two of his men to infiltrate a gangster. And two secret agents named Jung and Ju were chosen to carry out this dangerous mission. Jung is assigned to disguise himself as a gangster, while Jo is assigned to monitor Boss Ko's right-hand man who is now in prison. Disguised as a convict, Jo begins to act. With his small stature, his guts are big enough to challenge the reigning prison champion to a slap duel and this immediately catches the eye of Han, Boss Ko's right-hand man, who is his target. Even Joe's action could make the atmosphere at that time immediately chaotic. After the brawl that day, Han greeted Joe in his cell. Han said he was impressed by Joe's courage to cause trouble in prison. The next day, Joe, who doesn't have any friends in prison, is greeted by a religious prisoner who explains who Han is. Han is a prison boss in a prison with many men. His power was obtained after Han managed to conquer all the champions in the prison. A year later, a new champion named Kim appears. Kim's entry into prison makes Han's prestige drop drastically. Almost all the inmates betray him, as well as the warden of the head of the prison who begins to side with Kim. Knowing this irregularity Han offers friendship with Kim but is rejected. Han, who did not want to lose his power just like that, immediately negotiated with the head of the prison about this. But what happened, Han was beaten by the wardens and put in solitary confinement. After the coup against the Han, now the atmosphere of the prison has changed. One day, Han was threatened to be killed by Kim's men, Jo who saw what happened, and immediately helped Han from an attempted assassination. Soon, Jo gains Han's sympathy, and Jo even becomes Han's friend. Jo who starts to get close to Han makes a brilliant plan to reverse the situation. Using cell phone cameras, the two of them threatened the head of the prison regarding illegal cigarette smuggling, which was masterminded by the head of the prison himself. Realizing that his position was threatened, the head of the prison gave up and wanted to side with Han again. Finally, Han returned to have power over the prison, and Han ordered the child and his men to arrest Kim. After being caught, Kim was tortured with hot water so that Kim would tell him his reasons for intending to kill Han. In the end, Kim also confessed that he was just an errand from Boss Ko who was assigned to kill Han in prison. <coughs> Elsewhere, Go, who is Boss Ko's nephew, notices that there has been an undercover intruder among them this past year. He also calmly killed Jung who was an intel from the police. The scene switches, Go, visiting Han in prison. The two discussed Kim's problem, which turned out to be specially appointed to kill Han by his uncle, Boss Ko. Here we learn that Go is on the side of the Han side, because Go himself is angry because he is always being tortured by his own uncle in front of his subordinates. Go also reported that he had killed an intruder in the gang recently. He also added information that another intruder might be near Han, upon learning of which Han was shocked and angry. We're back to our hero, Joe. Here we can see Joe in the middle. Relaxing, suddenly Joe gets sad news, that her mother died after being the victim of a hit and run on the street. Joe is frustrated and goes berserk after he doesn't get permission from his boss to visit his mother because Joe's cover is uncovered. Unexpectedly, the next day Joe gets permission from the head of the prison on Han's recommendation to join him in burying his dead mother. After the funeral, Joe returns to the prison and is greeted by Han and his men. That night, Joe suddenly admits to being honest with Han that she is a police intelligence officer, she also regrets having become an intelligence agent and leaving her mother alone out there. Han, who heard this confession, was moved and felt sorry for Joe so his plan to kill Joe that night was cancelled because of Joe's honesty. The two of them vowed to be brothers when they got out of prison. Three years have passed. Finally, Joe was released from prison. He was greeted by Han, who had already left prison. Joe was officially recruited by Han as a partner, 
Even though Han knew Zhou's identity as a police intelligence officer, the two of them remained brothers only with mutual trust. At headquarters, Zhou and Han are greeted by Boss Ko, who is having guests at his office. The guest is none other than Chun, Zhou's superior in the police force, pretending not to know each other loudly Chun threatens Boss Ko and his henchmen. He vowed to throw them all in jail if there was enough evidence. A few days later, Zhou immediately joins the gang, trusted by Boss Ko to deal with other gangsters who oppose them. A fight ensues. Joe completes the mission from Boss Ko and he is reappointed with Han to meet the Russian mob to negotiate a drug business. After doing business, Han took Joe to his old worn-out office, where Han was honest with Joe about his life and Boss Ko wanted to get rid of him while in prison. The two of them also make plans to smooth out the revenge mission against Boss Ko. Joe meets with her superiors the next day and provides information regarding impending smuggling with the Russian mafia. Knowing this, the police immediately conducted a raid that night. However, the results obtained were the opposite, the information provided by Joe was inaccurate and this made the police have to step back with their heads down in shame. With the success of the transaction once tricking the police, Bosco and the Russian Mafia have a party and on this occasion, Han finishes off Bosco and slaughters Bosco's men with the help of the Russian Mafia. After that, Joe asked Han to shoot him in the arm as an alibi, so that his lying actions would not be suspected by other police colleagues, before being questioned for the false information he provided. Detective Chun's superior Joe becomes irritated at being tricked, and he, finally shows the CCTV footage of Joe's mother's hit-and-run incident. In the recording, it is revealed that the mastermind behind his mother's murder was Han, Joe's best friend. After seeing this tape, Joe was sorry that he thought of Han as, his brother. He intends to take revenge by pitting Han and go against each other to kill each other. Not only that, Joe arranges a meeting with Han in Han's old, worn office. Joe has been waiting with several policemen who are ready to ambush Han, but Han, knowing that this is a trap, has prepared himself and a shootout ensues. With his dexterity, all the police on duty were massacred by Han alone. Han again let Joe live but this time he left Joe alone. Outside the building, Han is caught off guard by Detective Chun, and Detective Chun finally finds evidence of the drugs he has been looking for. However, a surprising thing happened, when Joe accidentally shot his superior, Detective Chun. This happened because Joe wanted to vent her disappointment towards her boss who neglected to keep his family safe while he was on duty. After that, Joe also killed Han as revenge for his mother's death. At the end of the story, everyone who was there died leaving Joe alone and the story was over. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to get more video like this, turn on the notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.